Okay, today we've got a BMW 6 Series in, 2004, so we're just going to show you what we've found so far on the water leak um, procedure. Um, so focusing on the door membranes first, and um, just to quickly show you on the inside, there's a big puddle of water here. So there's a big puddle of water there, and in the front here, if I just quickly turn my light on, and we push down on that carpet, we can see that it's heavily soaked. So my colleague's just gonna put some water down the driver's uh, door. And what it should simulate is it should fall out the bottom of the door. So if we put some water down there, so we can see that it's falling out the bottom of the door. But if we look very closely here, we can see that it's passing through the door membrane. So now what that would then cause, is it would cause it to sit on this rubber here and then once it then builds up, it would then work into the car. So that's a good indication that it that is possibly maybe the leak. Um, but just to show you another one, uh, on the front scuttle area, um, both of the door membranes are leaking, just to clear that up. Um, on the front scuttle area, we're just gonna put our hose just in this little cassette here. Um, so my colleague's just gonna put a hose there. And if we go up underneath the dashboard, what we're going to be focusing on is just that point just where we can see a little bit of water on that panel so as soon as we put some water on there it should show it coming in okay so my colleagues just putting some water on that spot now okay and then if i just give this a little bit of a push there we go so we can see all the water coming out there and it's running in very quickly. So there we go, so I think we've found the leak which is uh, corresponding with the front and back footwell being wet. Um, so that would be that one there. And then if we then come round to the back. Right, okay, so this arrow here is pointing at obviously this quarter bit. We can see that there's a tiny bit of rust starting to appear. And um, the reason being, this panel has been changed. Uh, the reason being is if we look in here, we can see that it's had some welding work and also if we look down in that box we can see that there looks like a skimmer filler and um, so what we're going to do is we're going to put our twisty camera on my colleagues just put in the hose directly on the arch and then what we've got is we've got this little twisty camera which goes down which is in here if it doesn't dive off okay and then what we're going to do so if I put that there. Okay, so it's not a big leak, but we can see water coming in just at that corner point. So it's not major, but if the car's going forward, that would work its way to the back of the car. And um, so as we can see in there, that we've had some form of repair in there. And um, so that's one leak. And um, also coming on to the passenger rear, passenger rear we can see that there is a bung missing out of the bottom of the floor pan which goes straight down on top of your exhaust system so that could cause maybe a bit of flick up from the road and then it will fill this box up uh, obviously it'll probably um, drain out of that hole as well so obviously that needs to be covered up and blocked um, just to double show you as well your air vents it looks like someone's previously uh, siliconed them in um, as far as we can see we can't see them leaking um, and if we just quickly come round to the passenger side uh, passenger side as well obviously we've got water down in the bottom there underneath the wiring loom um, and if my colleague just obviously puts a bit of water down the passenger door membrane just to show you on this one as well so it's coming in there quite heavily as well so that would obviously build up and we've got a little one down there as well so that would build up and then eventually work its way inside the car um, so I believe that is all we can find at the moment. Um, okay.